am Nilima with Creative Art bringing you the best art tutorials on YouTube. So if you're an art lover, do consider subscribing and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any important updates on our art tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to use the ready-made ceramic cones from Itsy Bitsy and they do come in so many different colors. This is how they look. It is a very simple concoction of ceramic powder, white glue and acrylic color. So you can buy them online from Itsy Bitsy just for rupees 25 and get additional 5% off on any online purchase you make from Itsy Bitsy just by using my code which is NILIMA5 N-I-L-I-M-A-5 So either you can buy them online just for rupees 25 or else you can also make them at home. But now friends, let's see what we can make out of these colorful cones. First of all, let's begin by coloring our base as black using black acrylic color or you can also use a black chalk paint. For base, I'm using a plywood plank. You can also use a canvas board. So now using a flat hair brush, I'm going to color the entire base as black. Now let the base get dry for some time and then we can do our next step. These are all the different colors of ceramic cone liners I have. Some are ready made from Itsy Bitsy and some are homemade by me. So now let's see how we can make these beautiful cone liners at home. First of all, we are going to need ceramic powder. So this is how it looks. I have stored it in a container. Next, we are going to need white glue. This time, I'm going to use Fevicol MR and some acrylic colors. So for brighter colors, I like to use neon. Mix it with some original colors like pink. Should be mixed with neon pink to get a brighter look. Orange should be mixed with neon orange to get a brighter look. And a measuring spoon. So first of all, we'll start by preparing a cone. And for that, I'm going to use the wrapping paper. So this is a wrapping paper of a deco transfer sheet, which I'm going to cut into rectangular pieces so that I can make cone out of these sheets. I never throw any type of plastic, simply use it again for something. To make a cone, simply hold the wrapping plastic in this way. Just the one third part of the plastic. Place your finger in this way and then from the other hand, start twisting the other end and then roll it. Keep your two fingers a little pressure down here so that you can roll it and everything becomes a cone like this. When you have a little remaining part like this one, use a tape. Place it on that part and then again start rolling. So now here you have got a cone. We have sealed one edge which is this. Using a tape seal another edge which is right here. And this is how you get a cone. In the same way you can make four different cones out of one pack. Now to make the paste we are going to need two spoons of ceramic powder. So here I am going to add two spoons of ceramic powder in each of the bowl one spoon of white glue and one spoon of color so if your color is a little thick like this one you can add a little bit of water but if your color is thin you can directly add it in if you want to make a metallic cone liner you can use this tinted metallic paint and add it according to your requirement and then mix in everything very well till you get a very fine and thick paste this one is going to need a little bit of water because the color was thick so here we have got one required color and for this cup, I'm going to add green acrylic color. This is parrot green and I'm going to use a spoon to mix everything together. Make sure that all three contents are mixed very well and there are no lumps after mixing. So take your time in this part. After mixing both the paste, this is how it looks. It is 
completely lump free and this is how thick it is so now let's start pouring them in a cone this is the cone and i definitely want the cone to be filled only one third part not completely hold the cone and start pouring in the ceramic paste now here you can see friends this is how long my cone is and i have only filled the cone till two third one third is still remaining so this will be helpful for us to do the packing of the cone in the same way fill the next cone fill only two third part of the cone and keep the rest part remaining now using tape start packing the top part of the cone in this way Fold it like one, fold it two, fold it up, and then like this. Then use the tape and seal the top part. So this is how you can make a cone yourself at home or you can directly buy it from Itsy Bitsy. They cost you just rupees 25. Do come in variant colors and if you buy them online, you also get 5% additional discount just by using my code which is Nalima5. Now the base is dry so let's start by drawing some fun animals and birds on the base. For this one I would like to draw a big size of peacock magnifying the face and the beautiful feathers. So I'm going to use a color pencil here for drawing. You can also do this part by tracing. For this type of paintings, just a basic drawing like this one would be enough. If you have very basic drawing skills, even that will work good with this technique because you simply have to do the colorful cone work. I just made here a peacock head with a body and later on I'm going to make the feathers on the top side. And in the same way, I also made a small picture. If you can see here, it's a tailor bird with a background design. This is also the one I will be painting. So now let's start doing the cone work.
Now using the same cone, I'm going to make dots on the line we made. So now in the same way, I'm going to complete the rest of the feathers. Now finally, I have completed doing all the cone work and the so beautiful and colorful our peacock painting looks. Let me show you a close-up look. You can clearly see the detailing part we have done on the head and the beak and the beautiful and glossy textured plus different pattern work we have done for the body. And my most favorite part was doing these feathers. It took a lot of time but I love the detailing that I have done and such a beautiful and bright green makes the entire painting look so amazing. In the same way friends, I have done one more painting which was my practice session and this is it this is of a hummingbird and for this painting i have kept the entire concept very simple using contrast colors and this is how it looks this one is really really easy to make i'll provide you both the templates so you can give it a try so now after completing both the paintings and let it get dry for at least 24 hours let's do our most important and final step which is using varnish for which I'm going to use the decor varnish gloss version pour it in a palette and then using a flat hair brush gently start applying it on your painting in this way so this will give a protection to your painting as well as it will also provide a glossy rich look to the entire cone work you have done In the same way, I'm going to varnish the peacock painting also. Now let it get dry for 24 hours and then your painting is absolutely ready to place it. I hope friends you did like this video because this was the easiest and the most creative thing you can do using a simple ceramic cone. So do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial. And if you do like my videos friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.